And moving on now with Black History Month comes a time to reflect on the history and triumphs of those within the black community. 23 ABC's Rosara Simone sat down with one local professor to understand the history of the Tulsa massacre and why it still matters today. Well off, segregated black community that was uh, thriving was essentially wiped off the face of the earth in a span of 48 hours. Um, and then wiped from the history books. What Dr. Tracy Salisbury is referring to is the Tulsa Race Massacre. On May 30th, 1921, a young black man named Dick Rowland was riding the elevator in the Greenwood District with a white woman named Sarah Page. According to the Tulsa Historical Society Museum, Rowland was arrested. On May 31st, the Tulsa Tribune released an inflammatory report which caused a confrontation between black and white armed mobs near the courthouse, causing the outnumbered African Americans to retreat to the Greenwood District. There was no normal to go back to. It was gone. Though that square box, if you see the pictures, the photographs, it was it looked like it had been bombed. Um, and essentially it had. Dr. Salisbury says that is what black Americans are facing now in 2022, that it's going to take a lifetime to learn the power of the black dollar. One message Dr. Salisbury wanted to drive home is that the numbers for the Tulsa massacre were previously watered down. What was once projected to be 36 back in 1921 is actually a lot closer to 300. You destroyed that generational wealth down there in Tulsa. And the descendants, because I believe there's still four people who are over 100 years old that were alive then, were children. Um, they talk about how it's taken a lifetime for their families to earn that money back. Coming up at the 11 o'clock hour, hear more from Dr. Salisbury and meet two black business owners you can support within Kern. In Bakersfield, Rosaldo Simone, 23ABC, connecting you.